Hello, gardening friends. Welcome to the Weekend Gardener. I'm John Dromgoul. You know, we always talk about potting things up a little bit. People ask me that question. What size pot do I need? There are problems with going like with a plant like this, to too big of a pot. This is a peperomia, that's a peperomia. If you put something like this in a larger pot, it's probably gonna rot on you because it'll hold so much moisture that this guy can't use it at all. And as a result of that, it won't be long before it's gone. This kind of pot, look how small they are. This one right here, another small one, these prevent people from overwatering them, especially the growers of these things. That's why they're in these little tiny pots, so that they don't get overwatered. So what would you do to finally get over here? Well, you'll get yourself the next size pot, like this one right here, pot it up, put it in there, and it'll grow out for you for a nice while, and then when that gets nice and established, then you can go up to a more ornamental or a bigger pot. Same thing with cactus, like I showed you this one right here. This guy is in a small pot deliberately. But some people like to pot him up into a little bit of a bigger pot that first time. The danger is overwatering. But when you take a guy like this and you pot him up into a nice large pot, what's going to happen very soon is these little babies all around it are going to spread into that soil and make it a beautiful pot, like these specimens right over here. That's pretty neat too. This guy is a beautiful uh, sedum called coral reef. Look at those colors. This is one that's going to cascade out of a pot. This size is ready to go into the next size. For example, that'll be a very good one. Got some nice, so uh, inch and a half around it. Good, well-draining soil. This is a good cactus soil right here. It drains very, very well. Here's a little succulent that was planted into a medium that holds too much moisture. That's not good for these cactus and these types of plants that need good drainage. This is what you're looking for. So when you're stepping things up, don't oversize it because they're going to rot away from you. And then the other thing is you need a soil that's appropriate for that type of a plant. Well, those are some ideas. I think that you understand what I'm talking about. You need good drainage. You need a house plant that's going to be in a humusy soil to hold the moisture there and the cacti and succulents and something that drains very well. So there you go. Another project for you, isn't it? For The Weekend Gardener, I'm John Dromgoul. I'll see you next time.